guys like Fauci get up there and start talking, you know, he doesn't know anything really about anything. And I'd say that to his face. Nothing. The man thinks you can take a blood sample and stick it in an electron microscope, and if it's got a virus in there, you'll know it. He doesn't understand electron microscopy, and he doesn't understand medicine, and he, doesn't, he should not be in a position like he's in. Most of those guys up there on the top are just total administrative people, and they don't know anything about what's going on at the bottom. You know, those guys have got an agenda, which is not what we would like them to have, being that we pay for them to take care of our health in some way. They've got a personal kind of agenda. They make up their own rules as they go. They change them when they want to. And they smugly, like Tony Fauci, does not mind going on television in front of the people that pay his salary and lie directly into the camera. You can't expect the sheep to really respect the best and the brightest. They don't know the difference, really. I mean, I, I like humans, don't, don't get me wrong, but basically there is a, there is a, there's a vast, the vast majority of them do not possess the, the ability to judge who is and who isn't a really good scientist. I mean, that's a problem, that's a main problem actually with science, I'd say, in this century because science is being judged by people, funding is being done by people who don't understand it. Okay, who do we trust? Fauci? Fauci doesn't know enough to, you know. If Fauci wants to get on television with somebody who knows a little bit about this stuff and debate him, he could easily do it because he's been asked. I mean, I've had a lot of people, president of the University of South Carolina, ask Fauci if he'd come down there and debate me on the stage in front of the student body because I wanted somebody who was from the other side to come down there and balance my, because I felt like, well, these guys can listen to me. But I need to have somebody else down here that's going to tell me the other side. But it was, you didn't want to do it. How do they um, misuse PCR to estimate uh, all these so supposed free viral RNAs that may or may not be there? Uh, is it some, I think misuse PCR is not quite, I don't think you can misuse PCR. Actually. No, the results, the interpretation of it. See, if you, if you, if you can say, if, if, if they wanted, if, if they could find this virus in you at all, and with PCR, if you do it well, you can find almost anything in anybody. It starts making you believe in the sort of Buddhist notion that everything is contained in everything else, right? I mean, because if you can amplify one single molecule up to, a, to something that you can really measure, which PCR can do, then there's just very few molecules that you don't have at least one single one of them in your body, okay? So that could be thought of as a misuse of it just to, to claim that it's meaningful. It's just a process that's used to make a whole lot of something out of something. That's what also, it is. Um, and it's, but it's not, it doesn't tell you that you're sick and it doesn't tell you that the thing you ended up with really was going to hurt you or anything like that.